Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. It's time for tea, like the sign says. It is, well, once it finishes steeping anyway. Uh, every Monday, I like to come sit down and enjoy a cup of tea. Hope you're sitting down and enjoying a cup of tea as well. I do subscribe to Sips By, pay for it out of my own money. I am not sponsored, it doesn't come free, but you know, if Sips By wanted to toss something my way, I would not be opposed to it. By the way, anybody new here, welcome. Thanks for coming by, I hope you stay a while. If you've been here before, I appreciate you, and uh, thanks for coming back. Now Sips By, you get to fill out a profile and tell what you like, and I pretty much said, send me all the things. Fruity, non-fruity, you know, black tea, white tea, whatever, I will try it all because I like to try different things. And each month they send you a personalized thingamabob. This is March Teas. And it says right on it, made for Deborah. That's me, by the way, Deborah. I'm warm in here, y'all. It warmed up. So, yeah. Anyway, today's tea is an interesting one. This is Miracle Tree Organic Morning Superfood Energy Tea Oolong Grape Vanilla. That's a lot in that title, and if you notice, it did not end up in the title of the video because not going to happen. Anyway, let's read about it. Take it off the glasses because I really can't see with them on. <clears throat> Miracle Tree is the brand name, by the way. One bag per eight ounces of water, typical for the teas. It says steep in boiling water four to five minutes. There was the beep for five. It may be a little bit longer because this is a lot bigger than eight ounces. I don't have any mugs that are eight ounces. Anyway, dried moringa leaves, oolong tea, grapes, vanilla, rosebuds, strawberry, and caffeine tea extract, all organic. Okay. And this one, these tell you what the caffeine content is on the teas that they give you. And they tell you whether it's low caffeine or caffeine free or whatever. This is the first time I have ever seen this. Super caffeinated. Super caffeinated. Am I going to be bouncing off the walls? Maybe. Boing, 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 boing. We'll see. Um, indulge in a perfect harmony of oolong tea and moringa leaves with a delicate yet bold addition of organic grapes and vanilla in this superfood energy infusion. That's a lot of words. A lot of words for tea. But when I opened it and gave it a smell, what I smelled strangely was cacao and vanilla. So I don't know what's going on with that. My handy dandy clip there. This is just a clothespin that happens to be decorated, hanging on to the tea thing. Because if I don't do that, inevitably it ends up in the tea. That, that's just my luck. Uh, looking at the color of this tea, you heard the beep. That was just over five minutes. And it's very, very light in color. Hmm. Don't know if you can see that, but the tea bag itself, a lot of big floofy things in there. All right. Let's get this out of here, put it on the plate, and see if I can get a sip without burning my face off. Oh, and for anybody asking when I burnt myself two weeks ago, now it's peeling. Yeah, if you missed it, I spilled tea on myself before I started recording. It was still boiling hot, and it went psh, all over my arm, and it gave me a big red spot, and it did end up swelling up a bit, and now it's peeling and itching as if it was a yucky sunburn. Thanks, and that was my own doing, so, you know, whatever. Okay, I will try it without any sweetener and without any creamer first. And I will blow on it so that it is, will not burn my face off. Hmm. I'm not getting anything grapey, and that's probably good because I don't think grape tea would taste very good to me. But I am getting randomly fruity notes not specific fruitiness. They're just kind of random. It's not firing off as any particular fruit. Um, but I do smell the, uh, the vanilla and that's more a scent than a taste in this. It's rather okay. It's nothing I would run out and go, oh yes, give me some of that for the flavor. No, but I'm gonna see what adding some sweetener does to it. 
I use um, a generic stevia. I got this at Aldi, actually. A little packet of that. And we'll see what happens when we sweeten it. Crinkly, crinkly. Okay. Give it a little stir. I'm actually recording this late in the afternoon. And let's see how super caffeinated ha happens with me. Um, in the evening, let's see if I can sleep tonight. Ooh, the cup is still hot. Hmm. Oh, my mug, by the way. Pets make a house into a home. Or pets turn a house into a home, rather. Sorry, reading it backwards on my camera there. I could have just looked at the other side of the cup, but that would make too much sense. Let's be real. I like it better with the sweetener. It does bring out more of the fruity notes with the sweetener, but not a specific fruit. It doesn't say grape or strawberry or anything. It's just like, ah, fruity, you know, but without the weird look on its face, I guess. All right, this, this needs some creamer and maybe it'll cool it off enough where I can drink it. The creamer that I use, or that I'm using right now anyway, French vanilla, zero sugar, it's coffee made, it's cold and uh, it's creamy. Pour some in there. Flies up through the mug like pretty vanilla clouds. It's definitely vanilla forward now because that's vanilla creamer. And I think that that actually balances out some of the other flavors in the tea. This is a kind of nice. It's, I think it's weird that they added extra caffeine to the tea though. Like it's not just the natural tea caffeine. It's like here, more injection of caffeine. Mm. And the fun thing is on the packet, it actually says super caffeinated. Caffeine content, 155 milligrams per tea bag. Not recommended for children, pregnant, or nursing women, and persons sensitive to caffeine. Wow, that's a lot of caffeine. I think like Mountain Dew has 30 or 50 or something. Holy cannoli, y'all. That's, that's a lot of caffeine. All right, so what's been going on in the world of crochet life and stuff with Deborah? Well, I hope you saw the vloggy thing from Saturday. Um, yes, there was another um, book look missed. I'm going to try to catch up with that once I have a day or two off and I can do some recording because those take some time for me to record. Um, yeah, we have more pepper tasting this week. More snacks around the world. That comes out on Tuesday. And there are playlists for all this stuff, which may pop up randomly as I'm talking right now, depending on if I remember to put them in or not. Yeah, today, because I record this on Sundays, y'all know I do work a lot, and Sundays are my only actual full day off, so I do a lot of my recording on Sundays. Um, me and the hubby and friends went to one of our favorite barbecue places that is uh, over in Fair Play, South Carolina. Um, yeah, it is so stinking good, and I can never remember the name of it. It's always the place off exit one. What's the name of that barbecue place? Spotted Pig. Spotted Pig. Thank you. Uh, yeah. T and, uh, today when we went, they were out of ribs, they were out of chicken, but they still had pork and they still had brisket. Usually they run out of brisket first, but they were busy before we got there. We went there at an off time. They were also out of fries for some reason. I thought that was weird. But that place there, the brisket is always divine. And um, the beans. Side dishes kind of make barbecue when you go for a barbecue place, you know. Their beans are delicious. I don't know how they fix them. It's like a whole bunch of different beans all together. And the sauce on it is really, really good. And then I add some of their spicy barbecue sauce because their barbecue sauces are making my mouth water right now thinking about them. They have a mustard-based sauce, they have a sweet sauce, and they have a spicy sauce. Spicy, take that loosely. For anyone who's a chili head, it is not spicy at all. Even my hubby, who does not do spice at all, he just can't tolerate it. 
we'll put some in his beans. So, yeah, but the sweet, he likes the sweet better. Um, they also have a, a variety of appetizer -y type things. They have salads, and you can get salads with barbecue stuff with it. Really, really good. But, um, yeah, that brisket. Mm. And those beans and the coleslaw. And they're cute little corn muffins, little sweet corn muffins and sweet. They got corn in them. Yum. Anything, everything was wonderful there. And, uh, yeah, that, that was breakfast and lunch today. It was, it was lunch. Um, so there's that. Mm. I can just about drink this now. Finally, with the creamer, cooled it off some. Good thing, though, next weekend, I'm off all weekend. So maybe I'll get some recording done. Then again, maybe not. My favorite shaved ice place in the whole world um, is going to be open. That is our opening weekend for this season. And that's all the way up in Powdersville, South Carolina, near Greenville, South Carolina. And hopefully, I'm going to go up there and get myself an enormous shaved ice. Now, how I get it fixed, let me tell you, okay? I get the sugar-free fruity flavors that they have. They have like four different fruity flavors that are sugar-free. But I also make them when they're mounding up the large, beautifully, the, the texture of the shaved ice is, is something otherworldly, okay? I make them layer the sour spray in between. I stop, add sour spray, add some more ice. Add some more sour spray, add some more ice, because I like it super, super, super sour. So... I'm looking forward to that and the purple tongue that I end up with afterwards because a lot of the colors are purple and red and stuff and you know and you are just purple so there is that <laughs> so what's going on in your world this week hopefully your Monday has not been too terrible and uh, you just got got the weekend on your mind I know I usually do thank you for coming by this tea I will probably finish it and I'll probably be bouncing off the walls that'll be interesting and uh, we'll see if I can sleep tonight. Cheers. <laughs> see y'all very, very soon. Bye, y'all.